All right. Dallas has Cricketot. Is that its nose? I never thought about it before, but... I always thought it was its mouth, but... Is that a nose? I'm, like, freaking out. It looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer if it's its nose. That's so weird. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. My name is Ectric, and this is the third episode of our series, playing through Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the first time. In the last episode, we were able to make ourselves our way to Jubilife City and continue on to Route 204. And from there, we are continuing on getting some more encounters and just making our way towards Orberg. So if you are enjoying this series, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And you'll catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. Also, if you want to watch these live, we are doing this as a live series. And these episodes are actually just clips from those live series and those live streams. So if you want to go watch the VODs, you can. If you want to watch them live, come check them out as they're live. But otherwise, let's get back to the action. All right, let's continue on. We are all set here out, up into Route 204. And, oh, that's a trainer. Did not mean to do that. Oh, well. <sighs> we'll get some more fighting in, and then we will continue on towards Witchy Me Call It. The, uh... Da, 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 da. Oh, the encounters. That's, really didn't need that much thinking for that, but whatever. We can go over towards the right to go fight Nolan. We can go over to the left to try and get some fishing encounters. We can, uh... I don't know what, what other mods we want. Alright, Amy, you got this. This game does have the uh, special physical split, so... Oh, that did nothing. Is... What? Is Bidoof only normal type? And then it turns into a water... Uh, normal water type? I could have sworn it was always normal water. Huh. Look at our. <laughs> let me look at. Oh yeah, it's just normal. Look at that. Weird. All right. Well, uh, let's go into Patrick. Patrick hasn't seen some action for a little bit. We haven't used Patrick in a while now because I've been trying to keep my team evenly spaced. Special. I probably could have guessed that, considering that it's always been special. But you know, had to check. I do very much like that the uh, left trigger also counts towards uh, pressing A, because now I can hold just with one hand my left hand, because I'm left-handed, and it will uh, allow me to continue playing. And I can also, you know, move around with the left analog stick. Move around. I can really do this mostly one-handed. Look at me go. Alright, let's continue on. Towards our encounter. Maybe encounters. Maybe encounter. Ooh! A little Budu. Neato. Do we want a Budu on the team? Probably not, right? We'll catch it anyway. We need to get we need to catch all, all as many Pokemon as we can, so. Might as well. Hey, let's just try chuck, chucking a ball scene. See, see if that works. Wait a minute, I just realized. No, 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 never mind. I was gonna say, I thought I thought I only bought No, I did buy 20 Pokeballs. She gave me 20 Pokeballs. Because I I had I have like near 40 now. Dawn gave me 20 Pokeballs, that's ridiculous. I never realized that. It it took me so long to realize that that I had uh only had had 20 and now I have like 40. All right, another nickname. Gotta catch them all. Yes, indeed, Jason. Let me know what uh, nicknames you want to give to our good buddy Badoo over here. I ah, will just go with Benjamin. You said Benjamin, I'll go with Benjamin. Um, yeah, we're going, we're nicknaming our Badoo Benjamin. Perfect. Benjamin the Badoo. 
I like it. But yeah, I, now I am uh, catching some mons, bu building up our team. Just uh, overall, whoops, I'm fighting this lady apparently. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of stuff. None of it, but all that smart. <laughs> I uh, accidentally killed this Shanks because I button mashed when I was trying to catch it. Um, I've, I don't know, I don't know how much of this we've been here for, but there's been a lot of just ridiculousness. It's been, it's been an interesting time. <laughs> uh, that'll be not very effective. Let's go to, you know, uh, Burb Raptorb needs to get a flying type move, so let's swap into Burb Raptorb and hopefully get us a flying move on him. I think it's him. Her. My bad. Is that each scene or Oh I inquired of Insomnia? What move was that? Oh I mean I'll take Insomnia, that's fine by me. Honestly it's probably Rude. Just rude. Oh no, well, that's funny though. <laughs> I think in, in uh, um, Gen 4 and onward Poison does not kill in the overworld, so we should be fine, even if we don't worry about how many steps we're taking, because I think after 1%, it just uh, cures, cures the poison, and you're left at 1. But, I mean, even if, if even if that's not the case, we can just run back, and it will, we'll get back there with plenty of steps before Burb Raptorb goes down. Oh, look at that. I was just talking about wanting to get a, a flying type move on Bird Raptor. Man, look at all these moves we're learning. Alright. Take that last, Samantha. That battle didn't last very long. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. Let's go head on back to the Pokemon Center. Wait. Is he not taking any damage in the overworld? Wow. Okay, that's one thing that they definitely kept. Or they they kept from like the newer games rather than going back to the original version. Weird. I like the Pokemon Center music in this game. It's nice. The remastered music so far has been very pretty and, and nice. Whoops, I keep doing that. I don't know why, but I keep doing that. All right, so let's go and get ourselves a couple more encounters up there, possibly. And then we'll head over to the left to try and get ourselves a fishing encounter or two. Are you a trainer? Oh, whoops, that's a wild Pokemon battle. Oh, look, finally got our Shanks. <laughs> Took us forever to find a Shanks, and now we're finding one without meaning to. But yeah, um, get ourselves a couple more encounters, hopefully be able to uh, get a nice team built up. I don't know if there's going to be any mods that we don't already have in this in the grass is the only thing, so I'm only going to do a couple more encounters, and then if, if there's nothing there, we'll just move on. Because I don't want to waste your time by uh, just trying to encounter forever and just eventually giving up because it's all the same mines. We'll do like one or two more encounters after this and just see if we get anything rare. But I, I have a feeling it's just the three. Badu, uh, Shinx, and uh, Starly. Maybe a Badu will show up at some point, but if it does, it's probably going to be... Well, it is definitely going to be something we already have on the team, so it's not going to matter. Oh, you are a trainer. Neato. I guess we'll fight you. Not that we have a choice, but, you know. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, a magic card. Neat. Amy can definitely take that down. Nice and easy. And we lowered its attack. That's not going to be used for anything because it doesn't have any attack moves. This is like the perfect mon to send in against a mon that we need to be growing up in levels. Oh wow, look at that. Way to go, Amy. 
finally doing some good damage there. Uh, Snarly, let's actually stay in, because this is also super effective. We should definitely um, move our Pokemon, our team's uh, moves around so that it's in better order. Oh, almost. That's probably gonna do quick attack. Yep, we're fine. All right, bye bye, Starly. One shot. Yes, absolutely. We did one shot that uh, Magic Carp, and it was very satisfying how quickly it went down. That was that was impressive. Way to go, Amy. Oh wow, Amy's already level eight. I didn't even realize that. Nice. Uh, that's the one thing about the experience share being um, for everyone, like the shared experience share. It just, it you, your moms get get uh, levels way way quicker than you would expect them to, because you like, I haven't used um, Buddy the or what Benjamin the Badoo at all yet. It was level three, and I think it's like level five now, level six even more. So yeah, so it's ridiculous. But yeah, uh, oh, we should check uh, Benjamin's. Oops. No, we want summary. There we go. Benjamin's ability and uh, nature. Uh, down in special defense, up in defense. Eh, whatever. Natural cure. All status conditions heal when the Pokemon. That is a helpful move. Set or uh, a helpful ability. Um, worry seed. We'll put a stun spore. Actually, worry seed probably is a good ability to have. Tackle. Work up. Then scroll growl. We'll do quick or wing attack. Quick attack. Tackle growl. And then water gun. Pound growl. And thunder shock. Tackle. Charge leer. There we go. That is much better. Much better order. Let's go heal real quick. And then we'll move on. I'm gonna go over to the to the left um, to go get some encounters there. Probably get a Magikarp or something like that. Maybe a I don't know, the Goldeen or something if they're if I'm lucky. I don't know what po uh, Pokemon are, are easy fishing encounters in Gen 4. I generally don't fish very often unless it's a randomizer because it doesn't matter. If, uh, if it's a fishing encounter. Hello. Route 218 up ahead is a great fishing hole that's almost unknown to people. Well, why? It's not like it's exactly hidden very well. But, alright. I'll take it. Thanks for the old rod, man. Uh, no, I don't. Oops. No, still no. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Let's go get ourselves an encounter, too. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, let's see, so, bag. Can we do, like, a... Equip, a register? Yes. Oh! Interesting. Let's do the old rod as... Left. Is it why that does it? How do I... No. How do I... How do I... Hmm. Is it minus, maybe? Or... Oh, it is minus. Look at that. We landed a Pokemon, too. Weird. I wonder why it's minus. Hey, look at that magic carp. I called it. Uh, we cannot thunder shock this one because it will actually one shot it. So we did do that experiment. Oh, it's level six already. Look at that. We can tackle it. It's faster than Amy. That's very funny. Start thinking up nicknames for uh, this magic carp. Um, Mr. Floppers or something like that. Gil. Um, Gillian, because it's a, instead of Jillian, Gillian. <laughs> it'll be spelled like Jillian with a G, but it'll just be called Gillian. That could be fun. Maybe we'll go with that. Gillian. <laughs> oh, 
Kapow, we got ourselves a magic card. I'm gonna say we'll go with Jillian. That's a fun enough name. Alright, we'll go with Gillian here. I would like to give him Magic Carpet name. Gillian. Perfect. Gillian, the Magic Carp. Alright. I think we've done enough uh, encounter getting. Let's go on to uh, take on uh, Nolan to the east of Jubilife. First, we'll go heal up, though. Also, we're going to be starting to uh, put Pokemons in the box, so we'll have to be careful about which, which uh, ones we keep on the team. Good choice. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. I thought, uh, I thought it was a decent enough name. Got a pun in there, and it's an actual regular name. So it was, a, it was like a mixture of our two uh, naming scheme styles. Like mine with the, the jokes and the puns and stuff, and yours with like the having actually really nice sounding names that aren't stupid. <laughs> Although I did throw a little bit of my own uh, flair in there by calling it Gillian rather than Jillian, but you know. There's, there, there's that. But you can pronounce it Jillian. You could just pronounce it Jillian, and it would be not, we would be none the wiser. Alright, let's go on and fight on fight Nolan, because I am getting tired of just uh, hanging out in Jubilife. Alright, me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Okay, sounds good. Let's freaking go. You are challenged by something, something, something. Uh, Alright, oh Pokemon Trainer Nolan. I probably could have guessed that without needing to read it. You're challenged by this random trainer that you don't know the name of. Oh wait, it's your best friend since childhood. How do you not remember his name? <laughs> okay, so Starly is going to go down to a sh Thunder Shock pretty easily. I guess two, maybe, because I don't think we're going to one-shot this thing. Almost, but not not quite. But, is he going to comment on it, how it's super effective? Okay, I don't think he did. I think he just said don't get cocky. <laughs> Um, oh, and we can send in uh, Burb Raptorb to take on uh, Churchwake. It's perfect. Good. Uh, Turtwig, yes. Let's switch into Burb Raptorb. We could have also gone into Benjamin, but I kind of prefer Burb Raptorb. I don't. I don't think we need really need a Grass type on a team. Oh wait, what am I talking about? Um, Benjamin would not have been helpful here. Poison. I mean, we could have poisoned it, I guess, but it's it's Grass type. Why would we be using Grass type attacks to take down a Grass type? That's dumb. I still don't think we need a Grass type Pokemon in, on on our team. It's uh, really their their only use is either covered by water the same thing that water types do in like ground and rock or taking on water types but we have an electric type that does that and also flying so overall really don't think that grass types are all that useful unless you don't have a water type or an electric type but when it's a non nuzlocke we can have those types of things very easily actually so it's nice alright bye bye Nolan what just happened? I lost? You only two mods. You should have gotten more mods. I, I have six. And I, don't, I didn't get any duplicates. Wah, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. <laughs> yeah, go. good luck with that one. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. No, no I don't. First thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that, totally. Yep, yeah, okay, good, good luck with that. Have fun. Right, let's go heal real quick, and then we'll get ourselves some Route 203 encounters. Even more encounters. Let's fucking go. Ah, good times. I hope you guys are having fun so far. Um, I'm really enjoying this game so so far. <laughs> I did not lose, Jason. Don't worry. I uh, I, I beat him fairly, fairly, fairly handily. Um, he was complaining that he lost. So there's no worries there. Unless you were just quoting Nolan, in which case, yes. I agree. He did say that. <laughs> oh, boy. It's so hard to get, like, context out of, like, text. It's it's so hard to understand, like, what the 
context of what someone's trying to say is through just, you know, characters. Alright, this one has two moms. A Bidoof. And he's gonna be getting a lot of exp- uh, Oh wait, actually, this is normal type, so... Electric type moves are not gonna be all that useful against this thing. It's not gonna be hurtful, but it's not gonna be useful. Alright, um, let's go into... Patrick, maybe. No, actually... No. Gillian would be stupid, considering it doesn't have any attacking moves. Um... Let's go to Patrick. We haven't used our starter in a little while. Okay. Good stuff. Goodbye, Bidoof. Way to go, Patrick. Alright, um, speaking of Bidoof, we should probably send out... Well, actually, no, Amy's good for this one. I was gonna say we could send out, um, Doofy Brown. Get some, uh, more experience on her, but... Meh. I want to go for type advantages over everything. That's usually my, uh, you know, strategy. I, I focus on type advantages over most things. Which, you know, for the most part, pretty works pretty well. Except when you're in, like, a really stressful battle and, like, chain and switching is more dangerous than just going after it uh, with a weaker move. Alright. Took him down. Now, encounters. Can we get a Riolo here? I think we can, right? I don't know where where we would get a Riolo. It might be, be an egg that we can get or something. I don't remember. I feel like a Riolo is a possible encounter in this area. Like, this route section area. Um, why am I fighting this thing? I'm just gonna run. We don't need to fight this thing. We have technology. We don't need to fight this thing. We don't need no stinking fights. We just need to catch some Pokemon hands. Ah, a whole bunch of Starly around here, huh? Doop, doop, doop. Doo -doo. Oh. This has been fun so far. I hope you're you're enjoying this as much as I am, because I, I love uh, Gen 4. Gen 4 is a great gen. It's probably... Either my second or third favorite gen behind uh, Gen 3 and possibly Gen 8. I don't know where I where I would put uh, Gen 8 in comparison to like Gen 4 and such. And Gen 3, uh, obviously below Gen 3, but Gen 4 and Gen 8 are like my two and three. I don't. They kind of oscillate depending on which one I've played most recently. Um, I I would say that um, it's mostly for Gen 8. Like I like the graphics. Um, I like the wild area concept and also. Um, you know, the Pokemon that they introduced. I really like the Pokemon that they introduced in Gen 8. Um, story is obviously a little lackluster, but... Um, also the, like, the actual, like, towns themselves are really kind of nice. Even if there was, like, a lot of lost potential there. Like, I would say that the, the Balunlia, or Balloonlia, or whatever it's called, um... That area, that could have been, like, such a great town with, like, a lot of story in it and, like, a whole bunch of nooks and crannies and, like, cool things into it. And it was kind of a shame that it was just, like, off to the side somewhere and you went there, fought the gym, and then never went back. Like, th there was a lot like that where it was, like, there's some really cool things here that you could you could have some really fun areas. Ooh, Navra. Let's try and catch it. Um, but yeah, I, I would say that that is my main complaint with Gen 8 is, well, first of all, the story is really kind of stupid um, when it comes down to, or at least like the, the main plot point of the, the big bad or anything like that is, is really dumb. Um, but uh, the other thing is like some of the areas that we, that you could possibly go, oh man, almost. All right, fine. We'll try again sometime, but um, yeah, it, it. There, there could have been, it could have been better is the only complaint I have. Um, they could have been they could have done more with it. it. It feels like they didn't have enough story to fill up the like areas that they had ideas for, and the areas that they had ideas for were really really nice, and they could have done a lot more with it. But you know, in the end, it's still still very fun. I, I loved it. I love um, Intellion, one of my another one of my favorites. Uh, I didn't mention it. Uh, before when I was uh, talking about like my favorite Pokemon um, because it was a starter and was trying to think of non-starters but 
yeah, it, it, I like Italian a lot. It's just, I named mine Randall because it looks like Randall from Monsters, Inc. There we go. We got ourselves an Abra. All right, nickname time. Let me know what you think I should nickname this Abra. Uh, name the Abra Aiden. Okay, I can do that. Any particular reason or you just wanted to name one of Pokemon Aiden? I'm good with that. Regardless. Or is it like an inside joke between you two? Either way, works for me. All right, let's get rid of Gillian. Sorry, Gillian, you have a good name, but don't don't really need you over in Abra. Abra could be really good mod on the team. All right, so let's go heal and then continue on towards Orberg. Already making a uh, decent progress here. We've been going for wow, it's already been an hour and a half. Wow, a long stream already. <laughs> I'm also a I, I'm not one to be to do really long streams all that often. I don't stream probably as often as I should. I, I enjoy streaming, I just also have a full-time job, and it makes it very difficult to keep up with streaming and also doing content, which is kind of like why I like doing this style, where you do streams, and then you also have uh, the live, like a, a regular video series based on the content from the streams. It's like a best of both, both worlds. Um, Abra begins with an A, and I immediately thought of Aiden. That makes sense. I... Um, I wasn't sure if there was, like, you had, like, some sort of, like, joke that, or, like, Aiden really doesn't like Abra or something like that, and you were just naming him, naming it after him because it's one of his least favorites or something like that. But, yeah, A for Aiden and A for, A for Abra. Makes sense. I, I like the idea. I like the thought process there. Alright. Dallas has Cricketot. Is that its nose? I never thought about it before, but I always thought it was its mouth, but is that a nose? I'm like freaking out. It looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer if it's its nose. That's so weird. Maybe we should name it Rudolph. Yeah, we're gonna have to name this thing Rudolph now. Um, Thundershock, this shouldn't kill, right? It's not very effective, or at least not super effective. Yeah, it's control. <laughs> A Thundershock shouldn't kill unless we crit. Oh wait, this is... I'm an idiot. I can't catch this mon. <laughs> this is a trainer's mon. <laughs> you freaking moron. <laughs> I am not paying attention. Well, when we do get a Krikatot, we're going to name it a... Or not, a Rudolph. We already named a Pokemon Aiden. We don't need to name it. I mean, we can name all of the rest of the Pokemon Aiden if we want to, but... Um, I think I'm going to go for a little bit more variety than that. Alright, so we're all set there. Uh, can we get a Cricketot here? I would like a Cricketot now, so I can name it Rudolph. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Cricketot. Come on. Encounters! I like all the grass that flies around when you run around and run in circles. I don't need a Starly. I already have Burb Raptorb. Burb Raptorb is already good. Okay. Run. And we'll see if we can't get ourselves a Cricketot. A Cricketoon. Which one's the... I think Cricketot is the one that's, uh... The... The non-evolved form. Also, I didn't pay attention to a word she said. Uh, last Caitlyn. I found a trainer or something said that. I was trying to read it back and I missed it the second time also. Name every Pokemon Jason. <laughs> I can definitely name at least one Jason. Um, we could come up with different like puns based on Jason for each one. And that could be a fun naming scheme for a while. I don't know if I'm going to continue with the entire thing, but I will definitely do it for a while. I'm one to, I'm one to do a bit for way too long. <laughs> we'll definitely name one of them. Maybe we'll name the next one uh, Jason. And then we'll, con we'll continue it from there and, you know, if it's a... The, the next one's a Riolu, Lucari Jason or something, or Jason Rio or something like that. Could just add Jason into the Pokemon's names or something like that. Man, this... Amy is getting some serious work early in this game. I guess everything is, you know, either a water type or an electric... or a, a flying type to start off, so... Or it's normal and... Electric type moves are fine against it anyway. 
Um, let's switch into Aiden for this one, and then we'll s switch into Bur Raptorb from there. Get some uh, more experience on Aiden. So I want to get Aiden to be able to be a good Mondi. Um, oh, I sh shoot! I forgot we. <laughs> this is an actual uh, legitimate Pokemon game that isn't randomized and uh, emulated and all that stuff. So I actually will not be able to get a Alakazam unless I trade it. Um, oops. Cannot do anything. So um, maybe maybe we won't do uh, <laughs> maybe we won't do Abra for for much longer. We'll see. Um, I'll, I'll I'll definitely I'll 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 see if I if I if I have a chance to uh, possibly, you know, get that get uh, get an Alakazam at some point. Maybe maybe I'll uh, try and contact someone to be about getting traded because I'm gonna want to try and uh, complete the Pokedex. Um, it'll only be the second one I've done, not in an emulator, like my, the second full Pokedex I have, not in an emulator. Um, technically, um, I I've done. I definitely have done uh, Shield. That's the f that's the first one I ever did, all the way through. Um, I was never one to do like the full Pokedex because um, before you know online trading, I didn't have the option to um, trade because I, I didn't really have any uh, friends that played. Well, I did have friends that played Pokemon, but uh, we weren't we weren't diligent enough to like do you know trades to get all of the um, tight or you know version specific Mons and trade them back and forth and stuff like that and. Um, it was just like, you know, we, 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 we didn't do that when we were, we were young and I had friends that also played with me. Um, and then once I got it a bit older and started playing, um, I didn't have any friends, uh, to, that, who still played Pokemon to trade with whatsoever when, when I would have wanted to start actually seriously collecting. And then, you know, emulators, obviously you can't trade, so, um, I could technically do that and I have done that before, but, um, it's, it. It's kind of, it kind of feels like it, there's an asterisk there almost because technically you could just cheat and then do it you know illegitimately, but you know there's so the, shield was the first one where I really had the option to. Um, Aiden, it is also 12 p.m. near you. Yeah, um, Jason was saying that it's uh, midnight and threw off some fireworks. Um, it is 7:08 <laughs> now here, but yeah. Um, getting back to what I was said was. Uh, you know, that was the first time I played a, a Pokemon game as it, like, came out, and it had wireless, uh, trading capabilities. Obviously, Gen 6 and 7 had those options, um, but by the time I started playing with them, either, you know, the wireless option was defunct, or it, it was just, there was not enough people playing and trading that you would have had the opportunity to. Plus, getting legendaries in those types of, like, you know, wonder trades or surprise trades or whatever they are... Are, is really difficult, so there's that. Also, Aiden, we uh, named an Abra after you, so um, hope, hopefully you don't mind an Abra too much, but um, that, that was the reason we got on the topic in the first place, was that um, I'm not going to be able to get an Alakazam unless I trade someone. Uh, and I was forgetting about that uh, that uh, little hiccup in the plans I had. Because I'm so used to ha doing randomizers where you just check... Uh, ignore or remove impossible evos. Alright. We'll fight this guy, and then we'll be going on to the cave. Hey, it's a Machop. Let's go into Bird Raptor. We lowered its attack, so that'll be helpful. And then... Bird Raptor. And use some uh, wing attacks. But yeah, um, Aiden, uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for, you know, other mons you want to name specific things, let me know. Um, we're currently going to be doing a decent kick of naming every Pokemon Jason in some way, shape, or form. Um, <laughs> so, so there will there will be that. But um, we will also throw in some uh, of your nicknames as well. Goodbye, little kid. And let's go into the cave. We're probably going to get some good new mounds here now. Oh, hello. Oh, looky there. You've got a Pokech. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. 
You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. Why do they keep getting multiple tech? I guess because they're trying to, like, split the difference between, you know, making TMs, um, you know, they, they didn't want to make them uh, unlimited use, but they also didn't want to, you know, make it one use and you only get one option to have it in the entire game. So they're trying to split the difference by giving you multiple of them. Um, oh! This, I forgot! Um, we get the ability to use hidden moves. I forgot. Um, how do we do this? Let's see. Um, hmm. How do we do it? Let me go, let me go talk to him again and see if he can tell us again. I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, using Tekken Machine, teach your Pokemon to move. That TM will then break, so think very careful. Also, a new feature of your Pokecatch, Rookie Trainer. The Hidden Moves app. You use Rock Smash from your Pokecatch, and a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders for your path. If you use those, this hidden move in the field, you'll need... Oh, uh, okay, I just need the badge first. That makes sense. Alright, well, we can't we can't break, break rocks yet, but we'll get ourselves some encounters, and... Move on to orb work and it'll be fine. Hey, Geo dude, we'll definitely add this to the team. Probably get rid of uh, Benjamin for it. Um, Jason, do you want this to be named Jason? We can name this Jason, or we can make, like name it, you know, Momoa because it's like a mus muscly thing, and Jason Momoa is a muscly actor. Uh, let me know what you want, um, or if you have any preference whatsoever. Um, I could also just name this Jason because I know you had wa wanted wa at least wanted to be named Jason, so. If you would like the Geodude, it is all yours. Alright, we got one, two, three. Talek. There we go. Nice and easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nice. Ooh, roll out. Um, sure, why not? Let's get rid of defense curl. Actually, growl. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, name it what you want. Uh, sure, let's go with, um... Let's go with Momoa. I like that. It's a, it's a Jason reference, but it's also... Um... Well, we'll, we'll, get, you, we'll get you a different one for, for actually being called Jason. Um, because I'm not sure if this is going to stay on the team, and I want to hopefully have your, uh, the, the Jason stay on the team. Because this is another trade mon, so we'll give this one Momoa. But we will add it to the team for now, over Benjamin. And then we'll continue on. But for now, that is going to be it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And you'll catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.